Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com out here for another gear review and today talking about something kind of cool from Black Triangle Group. It is this right here, which is their rigid bag panel sling version. Pretty neat little piece of gear. So what is it? Big reveal. It is a rigid panel to go inside of bags. This one particularly for sling bags. So it was actually originally designed around, I want to say the Patagonia eight liter sling bag. And it obviously will fit anything to include this offering right here, a Vertex. And yeah, it is basically this rigid panel. You can affix all kinds of things to, and then it stows inside of your sling bag. So zip this guy up and throw this guy on and pretty, inconspicuous package for whatever you want to put on there. This piece itself is made out of 8 inch Bolteron and measures approximately 8 and a quarter by about 11 and a half inches. You have all kinds of quarter inch grommeted holes as well as a bunch of other drilled holes and then back here you have a bunch of different molly channels. Again this material you can actually do stuff with it by way of example, I basically ground out that so I could end up fitting some eyelets from a holster through there, the snaps, and yeah, basically modify it to what you want. Then over here, each of these actually comes with two of these. Each one of them is about 60 inches of the shock cord, and that in turn allows you to set it up, lash down different things, depending on how you want to configure it. And then again, you have these channels right here. It's obviously set up for a mag pouch for an AR mag. I've also ran it with these guys here, double pistol mouch or double pistol pouch rather. And then also these, which kind of one of my favorites, use them outside of their original design. They're actually MP7 magazine pouches, but they work really good for your taller magazines to include these. 21 rounders from SIG. And yeah, configure it however you want. Having said that, what has been my experience? How have I kind of used this? Well, it is pretty handy, just kind of given different scenarios. So for one, off body carry. So if you're not gonna carry a pistol on your person for different reasons and you need to carry it off body in some sort of bag, it's actually really handy able to put it, me personally, in my floodlight holster because it's handy. Just throw your Surefire X300 on there. Pretty much any pistol fit in there. But being able to carry that in there as well as spare mags and some med gear, little light slash beacon, all kinds of stuff in there. So when and where would you use something like that? Well, again, depending on application. By way of example, ended up skiing all day with it like to have a pistol at all times. Maybe don't want to carry it while I'm skiing down the slope, so offered that. Or think about summertime where pretty much in board shorts and maybe a t-shirt. It's kind of hard to hide a pistol. So being able to have everything in the sling bag, that works. And you're like, nobody carries those near me. Eh, I mean, that's probably one of those regional things where no one wears camouflage. Eh, depends on what part of the country you live in. So will this work in every situation? I don't know. Part of that is like, are you in a college town or are there a bunch of hipsters running around with sling bags and laptop bags? If there are, you probably get away with it pretty much any time of year. So again, just kind of depends on the place. The other place to use something like this is kind of like a go bag where maybe the bag is going to be somewhere accessible maybe it's visible and you don't want it to be like a straight up shingle of magazines but you have your primary weapon even if it's on your body to where you're drawing out using that to engage and you need to feed it so definitely did some shooting carrying spare mags for pretty sweet little compact gun and even for just straight up carving by the military industrial complex potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. 
We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic process. Keeping the peace is our military establishment. Our arms must be mighty, ready for instant action, so that no potential aggressor may be... What are my thoughts on this? Honestly, I think it's really cool and kind of sky's the limit with respect to configuring it. I mean, it's pretty much just limited by your imagination. You can have this thing set up specifically, like just med gear, full-blown, like med kit that you can pull out and set next to or on top of the person you're working on if you want or again you can have all kinds of mags on here pretty much whatever it is for your particular mission and right here is the setup i was using using my floodlight holster again extra magazines some med gear the light general purpose pouch tourniquet pretty handy setup This right here is my setup running a carbine, giving me two 30 round USGI mags, in addition to some med gear, a little light, and GP pouch for spare change and stuff. This was set up using my BNT chassis for the P320 series of pistols. Pretty fun little gun and gave me access to four spare 21 round magazines. It's a lot of bullets. And then in addition, of course, some med kit, a little light, GP pouch. Mission. And the thing I actually really like about this is Vertex, for example. Honestly, they do a really good job with a lot of their bag design to include making it to where you can put Velcro panels and stuff like that in there. And even though they're pretty like low pro, be like, oh, there's a Vertex bag. I wonder if that guy has a gun in it. Because I mean, they're noticeable versus again, what this was originally made for, like a little Patagonia sling bag. You're like, Cool. what do you got in there granola i mean it's not something that yells gun and so to that end whether it's a gun or anything else you want to keep in here you can put this in pretty much any type of little sling bag so you're not stuck with this bag which largely associated with the gun community and you can put this in anything and be totally low pro like running around with hippies and then you pull a pistol out and go loud Honestly though, I think this thing is pretty rad. It gives you completely user customizable for your needs, your mission, way to set up all of the gear you want and the access to used in any bag of your choosing. Have I ran into any issues with it? Yes, but basically like user induced. So this is made, so with these grommets and stuff, you can actually lash this in your bag if you don't want it coming out. I will say, depending on how you have it configured and depending on the retention of your magazine carriers, once like one magazine's already out and I'm going to pull this other one out because it wasn't lashed, kind of wanted to come up some, did it matter? No, you basically just kind of pinched it some with your elbow, drew the mag out, conducted your reload and pressed on. But if I was like, hey, this is how I'm gonna keep it configured 
and always use it that way, I'd probably just lash it. That way it would alleviate that in the future. Overall though, solid piece of gear. You can get them directly through Black Triangle Group. Price-wise, I want to say a little under 60 bucks, but yeah, pretty handy, especially with being able to customize it for your back. And lastly, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbatcher.com, picking up KBAT target pads, stickers, patches, things like that, or supporting me directly through Patreon. Helps me go out, create more content for you, and over there, you also get early access to videos, some exclusive stuff, and access to our Discord. If you have questions for me, happy to answer them over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.